I, lo I love the big log, but Jesus Christ, he got apparently just gets in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, pirates. Uh, where is it? I guess in the huddled Isles. Huddled Isles. I I'll just warp here, I guess. Oh yeah. Um, didn't you say there's something about the ship? Oh, uh, yeah, apparently you can, uh, go to Port Royal and, uh, go on the Black Pearl. Um, I guess we can it's see- about to find you guys your own shit, graphs don't count. I guess we can see what that's about. Well, we didn't dock at Port Royal, though, did we? No, we're gonna have to warp. <laughs> and, it, and, we, and I thought it was modern. <laughs> mm. I was, it, it's probably just a, a, a pallet swap at the end of the day. Or a model swap. Yeah, I, I, I think that the, the uh, what I read it. Like, apparently, there is a different. Uh, yeah, let's just go there. Um, apparently, there is a difference. Like, I think the like app um, fully leveled up. The the Firefin has more uh, cannons, but I think the Black Pearl, like, okay. I don't know, has more defense, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what they said. Hmm. But you only get that after you max out the Leviathan, right? According to the um, uh, site I looked at, it's, <laughs> provided that's reliable. Hmm. Because I never knew about this. On, Where is it? Oh, it's just there. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's just the black pearl. Huh. I never knew that was a thing. All right, where's the huddled isles? I think it's like back here. Yep. There it is. I guess this is a the a cool um extra. Bonus. Yeah, bonus. Gain the pot. Gain the. Gain the. Actually, drive the black pearl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't really mean much now, but. Hmm. That's a thing. Alright. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good start, Sora. It just says the huddled aisles, so... Oh, God knows where it I is. I don't know where it is. I just kind of... Oh, this is... Is this where we got the ship? I think so. So, uh, I guess we'll just look? I don't really know where I'm looking. Let's try the other end. Lol. <laughs> yeah, I'm not finding these guys. We're we'll just going past most of it. Yeah. Speed. It wouldn't be underwater, would it? No. Hmm. The picture even showed it being above. Ah. I remember we almost got killed by these assholes. <laughs> yeah, now they just tickle us. Don't care. Blind sighted. Oh, I have a jellyfish. Nice. Yeah, boy. So cramped. Yeah, a bit more than I would like. Just the right way. I don't know. Yes, it is. Is it? Man. Go back. Try the right turn up ahead. Remember, you can use the map. Yeah, I have, I've been trying to focus on that. Like, down here? Yeah. There's a safe point right there. Yeah, so we should we should be on the right track. Move That's forward. Safe.
Dead Goofy just got like more detailed. <laughs> I'm dirtier now. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, giant fish boss. It's that over there? Is that, uh, is that the way forward? I think so. <laughs> Goofy swimming. Yeah. Okay. It's not that we're gonna swim as it is a doggy paddle. Yeah. Is it here? Should be like here maybe. This is the best place I can think of where it would be. How the hell did you get here? <laughs> I walked. <laughs> oh, here we go. Where is this gonna put us? Oh, it's probably gonna put us on like the destroyed ship battleground. Mm. Let's see. Oh. Oh, just her. Right. This is a nice spot for it, actually. Also, I love how the they really love using the Big Hero Six battle theme in these portals. Yeah. Right, just do Here's this. A big Hero Six. Hmm? Wait, what? You sure it's Big Hero Six? Uh, well, the um regular battle theme, uh, is I think it's using that. It doesn't sound like it to me. Well, not this, but. Well, obviously not this. Please. Oh, I'll bet those giant pirates are gonna show up. But yeah, this theme playing now, I'm pretty sure is a. Uh... Is San Fran? I'd have, we'd have, I'd have to look it up. Also, oh, these guys suck. Um, so I had there's a material that comes from the Anchor Pirates, um, and they're just annoying to deal with. Um, so any time I had to like grind for their materials, it just led to sad times. Well, finding one I can imagine first of all was a big pain. Uh, well, I used a specific island that had three of these guys, and I just kept on warping back to it. Um, oh, that one. Yeah. The thing is, though, um, the um, material for those guys I f it's like, ridiculously rare. So, um, that kind of sucked. Is there, more? is there another one? There's a lot of cores here. Holy hell. A bunch of finishes. There's a lot. Oh, of, yeah, there's a lot of enemies in this one. Large body sliding around down there. No, actually, that's that's a bit overkill. Hey. I right, just let him charge. A really fancy like animation to dodge over with. Yeah. I guess it's the uh, only form of uh, strike raid in the game. Next one. <laughs> Selfie pose unlocked again. Which one? Uh, yoink. <laughs> um. The next one is in. It's in what? You're. Silly goose attack. Did you hear me? No, I hadn't. I had nothing. None of that. It's a tunnel in San Francisco. Okay. Uh, daytime preferred. Alright. <clears throat> I never remember what island has a save point, so I just go back to Port Royal. <laughs> I think it's in the islands that have circles. Oh, yeah, that'll probably do it. <laughs> God. Uh, hey, we got a consistent spot, I don't know whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just used this. 
it, it was also um, another thing that annoyed me during the synthesis grinding is that I, especially for a world like this, I never remember where um, the uh, Moogle shops are. So a lot of the time I just <laughs> teleported out, went to like, I don't know, Monstropolis or something, just to see what items I needed. And then sometimes I had to go right back to port <laughs> to uh, pirates. It was it was, a, it was like, why don't you just like write it down on a checklist or something? I probably should have done that. Oh well. Right. Uh. But um, go go to the city during the day. Yeah. The first spot we're looking for is the is the tunnel that we can grind through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the last? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Hashtag blah 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 blah. <laughs> he played Hero Free. That 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 part was so stupid. It's like Donald reaction. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, there's one more in San Francisco. It'll be at nighttime on a rooftop. Oh. Oh, I think I know what that is. Is that another grind spot you used? No, but I've seen people uh, uh, do that. Come on, um, I think. Yeah, look for uh, look for the tunnel on the ground. Uh, follow that tunnel. Yeah, I think we've uh, yeah we've seen all of the uh, the. Uh, yeah, here I think. Yeah, we've seen all the battle portals I've done off screen at this point. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see up there. <laughs> oh, hi, Baymax. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> he yeah. saw that! <laughs> yeah. What is this one? Um, you'll find out. As in, I don't know. <laughs> I assume just Moo Crush? Let's find out. Oh, right, we go back on the bridge. Okay. So that means uh, aerial time. Because, uh, yeah, screw oh. this. Well. Time to die. Like, they give me a broken summon and I'm gonna use it, damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> broken Good. is right. Nice. Oh man. How long are you recording? Uh, nearly an hour. Wow, this is gonna be fast. <laughs> this way, we're gonna get Reeman ready on the next session. Oh yeah, we're we're, def we're definitely gonna start remine next time. Yeah, we're not doing that tonight. No, it's too late. <laughs> Plus, it wouldn't exactly flow well. No, well the thing is, like this, there's, there's like tw like a billion cutscenes at the start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just night time now, I guess. Okay. That's convenient. Interesting. That's very convenient, actually. Yeah, so there's up in a building somewhere. I think it's up there, maybe. No, that's uh, go go. I think. Um, oh, it's over there. Oh, oh wow. Well, okay, that was close. Okay, cool. <laughs> Follow go go, and you'll be and you'll be good, good. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> okay, that was the dumbest thing I've done so far. <laughs> uh, I mm. That was the dumbest thing I've done since the Udo game. <laughs> God. You remember that? What, in the Clubhouse games, or? No. Um, our actual Uno game with the penguin. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use uh, Ralph just to be different this time. No, we shouldn't use the, the Dream Eaters. <laughs> I was thinking that as well, but... You know. You know, what, if, he's, you know what, if Ralph doesn't kill it, then we'll do the Dream Eaters. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of just trap them in this uh, pit of despair here. Wreck it. Nice. Yeah, sure, just meow wow. <laughs> Why not? Yay! Just Hooray! Do we're clean playing. Up. <laughs> Hooray! It's a dead, it's a dead, kid, it's a dead keyboard you wielder. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I can't look at Dream Drop the same way ever again. I thought we gonna fall out the building. Yeah, I think there's a barrier. Uh, I don't know if we can get back up, though. Well. Yeah, the enemies fall down with me. Then it's fine. 
Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sora's a little bit too happy about this. Yeah, right? Yay! Yay, more dead people. <laughs> God. Ow. Yeah, I agree, Baymax. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not heartless, like, Two more to go. They're both in Keep Their Graveyard now, right? Correct. There's uh, Dark Inferno and the Ever One. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So we're yep. obviously gonna do the Ever One first. Right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Just It just makes sense. Dark Inferno! Excuse me. Alright, Kremlin. Oh. oh! um, down there. Yeah. On the map. Yeah, yeah, I, I looked at the green circle. Man, Cyber Prince Tokyo looks really pretty from the top. Yeah. Night so, cities yeah. are always so pretty. Yeah. There's a reason why I, I tend to prefer nighttime. Yeah. Night City, uh, you know what else is really good? Night Cities with snow. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, like, um, uh, Frostman stage in Mega Man 8. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. I haven't played Mega yeah. Man in a while, <laughs> so... I think your opinions of them will change, uh, when, when you, if, when you eventually, like, rerun them. Are you, maybe you'll, maybe, maybe that, maybe that'd be a, a series of streams as rerunning the Mega Man games. Uh, maybe I. I so, well, could you played all of them off? Could you play most of them off, a off, off, off camera? The thing is, I I didn't. It has um, like come to my mind a few times, but like, I feel like I just embarrass myself. The worst you the worst you do is make Hub angry. Yeah. I I don't know, man. I mean, I'm, I'm not again, opposed to play. I think your second run will be better overall. Probably. I, I'm not opposed to playing them again, but I don't know about streaming. I also <laughs> need to. I, I didn't count. What, what did Donald say? The Keyblade Graveyard. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Like yeah. so ominous about it, too. Is that it? No, no, no. That's no, Final that's the uh, final world. Um, yeah, this one. Yeah, I, I also need to play the X games as well. Well, I think, it, I, yeah, um, you have the X collections? Yeah, I've had both of them for a while. <laughs> I, I still need to get the ZX collection. Mm. Right, so this uh, big, hey, remember, big boy. You remember him from, from Tokyo? Yep. Yeah, big fella. I'm not really sure what the best uh, course of action for him is. So I'll just kind of. Oh god, I almost forgot how big Kingdom Hearts is. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we, I remember we saw that before. We were like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, the cutscenes make it look so much more tiny. Oh, this guy's taking like. <laughs> Ooh, hey, scratch my nose, please. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What an obstacle. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, fun fact, fun fact, this was my first battle portal. Mm. Yeah, I think I did this on my first run, but I don't know if I actually beat him. Um, and the only one I remember beating for certain is. I remember. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, I remember being the, um, the, uh, uh, I think the ones in Olympus, and I did Dark Inferno. I I don't remember doing it, any of the others. Speaking of which, let's go finish this up. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're a lot more confident this time? Um, well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, mainly for the fact that I'm level 99. <laughs> Indeed. Remember when we died? <laughs> Might as well save. Gosh. 
Gee, gosh, Thor, remember when we went to hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I wonder what... Then the all-powerful Reaper took all of our mortal souls. God. <laughs> or mortal souls, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the uh, final playtime's gonna be. Big. Okay, first off, let's... Uh, okay, that, that's the correct shortcut. Right, so... We have the right key. Oh, wait, we don't counter shield. It should be fine. We don't necessarily need it, 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 it just... Uh, funnier. It funnier. It, it, it can help, but we don't need it. We should be fine. Yeah, we, 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 I've, we've already discussed how this works, so... You almost had him before, too. Yeah, I probably could have done it if I kept going, but... It is what it is. You had that one more try mentality. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he likes fire, though, doesn't he? Um... You can use... Uh, Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Using fire is fine until like the last phase. He is taking a lot of damage though, so this might not be too bad. Okay, what are you doing? Nice. So I found out that nice. you, can, you can counter him when he does the two swipes there. He's going down really fast. Alright. Oh, I, I messed that up. Is that like no damage? Yeah! Oh crap. Okay, now he's in the... Now this is... This, a... this, is the, this is where you can't use fire. Yeah, yeah. Is he to go use... off there or is he immune? He, he's just immune. Counter. Okay. Unblockable. This is... Yeah, I don't remember this part too well. The sound effect of the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I... Yeah. Oops. I don't really want to... No, this is fine. Oh, you you want to glide on the last... Damn it. Uh, phase. When he does the orb attack. Primarily because he will try to actually attack you. Um, in his last phase while he does that. Yo. Alright. Okay. Good job. Uh, this- I don't think this will be a- No, okay, we need to get him one more time. I can just, uh, you know what? Damn it. What are you trying to do? I'm just- <laughs> Let me just, uh, get him with water. Done. <laughs> <laughs> No vine enemy? Okay. I don't know what that is. Finger smack. <laughs> so, yeah. We beat the guy just to get a selfie. Nice. Yeah, that, I wasn't expecting him to take that much damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Critical. Right. That's funny. Well, I guess there's, that's that then. Um, we've done let's it. Take a look. Well, let's get the journal. Yeah. Enemy enemies. Uh yeah, Dark Inferno. These dastardly dual wheelers are like benders on blenders on roller skates, except worse. <laughs> you could try to keep your distance, but they'll soon close in on you or else they'll just huck a fireball your way. Ah. Okay. Yep, is that it? And for um, nobody's berserker. Yep. You wow! Well, you had to grind. You had to fight this guy ten times just for the grinding. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I 
Yeah, it took a while. Is the nobody swinging the hammer, or is the hammer swinging the nobody? <laughs> Let's see the hammer, but okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure I see hammer from this. I think it's... the axe. Yeah. I think it's like... Yeah. And I think, uh, was it Syax's weapon is meant to be like a claymore or something? I think so. Ooh. <laughs> wiggly, wiggly time. Is he flat? It looks like it. <laughs> His head is flat, at least. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, no one will. Keep away to the face. <laughs> oh, God. That means pain is incoming. <gasps> Let's see. Wow, that actually finishes the journal. This will forever annoy me because you, can, you can't have it on photo albums, so it's just this one thing that just doesn't have a Mickey logo on it. Um, oh, oh, and of course we still have to do one more thing. Yeah, we need to look at the uh, secret reports. Um, Should we find a good spot for this? I guess so. Um, but where? Don't know. Oh, oh, Scala! I yeah, I guess so. We can do that. Look, we can work straight to Scala from here. It's not gonna activate like the cutscenes or something, is it? Of course not. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, we basically, we pretty much, like, again, besides the gummy stuff, uh, we've done everything in the base game now. So. Oh, can we do check the trophies and see what we're missing? <laughs> yeah, just, uh, like, uh, spin in a circle for two hours, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good spot. No. That's how I think. That, that's why I think about uh, your uh, request. Look at all that water. <laughs> Donald just doesn't care. Okay. All right. Well, Want to start it off? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Recollections. Am I alive? I awoke in a cell alone until the researchers came with their tests and their prodding to uncover my ad identity. I had no answer to offer them. Four friends and a key. That is the sum total of my memory. I could not even recall my name, I was simply called X there. My only solace was the time I spent talking with the two boys who would visit from time to time. Axel and Syax. One, <laughs> one day, a, a man came to take me from the prison. I could not see him for uh, for the darkness, save that he wore an eye patch. Zigba. <laughs> even now, you... you <laughs> It's funny, like, knowing, like, who these people are, <laughs> just reading this. Yeah. Uh, years on, I feel, I feel no closer to understanding who or what I am. May my heart be my guiding key. You're gonna use that again. Yeah, that's, uh, un, um, Subject Dex, this, uh, writing this. Yeah. Well, uh, these are all written by different ones, right? Yeah, pretty much. Alright. Mark of Mastery Journal. Some days have passed since I set off on my journey to prepare for the Mark of Mastery examination. Eric has asked for leave to undertake the same pil pilgrimage, but apparently I am to be first to tour the worlds written of in old fairy tales. Until a few short years ago, I'd only known uh, uh, I'd only I'd known only my own world, a speck of land surrounded by sea. But how had I dreamed of yearned how but how I dreamed of yearned for the world beyond. And great and great and granted guidance. Sorry, from the from the future. I came in contact with darkness in many forms. I knew even then. Off. Um. Um. Did I finish the last paragraph at least? No. Uh, go go back to. Uh, last thing I heard was even then. Even then. Uh. Let's go back up a little bit. Oh. Uh, I knew even then, but as by instinct, terrifying as the power was, it could be mastered, or harnessed, mastered. Uh, so I think this is, I think this is, uh, yeah, there it is, Zayanor. Yeah, say, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I can tell just from where we were at Zayanor. Yeah. Ericus is a blue blood, descended from the very first masters in the age of fairy tales, but I did not come this far to indulge in adulation. 
I will be his peer, his equal, and to that I must learn to wield the power born from both darkness and light in proper balance. Xehanort. Yep. So that basically can... That pretty much confirms that Brain is probably, like, uh, Ericus's, like, ancestor. <laughs> yeah. Um, Experiments of the Heart. Notes on Subject X, except one. Um, subject was found in the central square shortly after dawn. Female, approximately 15 years old. After seven days of observation, she spoke her first words, but could not provide a name. Su subject exhibits signs of profound amnesia and displays concern about which world this is. Her words suggest that she departed her home world with others, though she cannot recall the names of her erstwhile companions. All efforts to explore those memories have met with a rejection response. After his initial experiments on me, Anson the Wise seized his research into the heart. His hand stayed by uh, some fear I cannot fathom. Yet this new subject is like me, devoid, devoid of memories. She is the perfect sample upon which to continue my master's work. She too could benefit from it. By traversing the hearts, we have a direct path into memory. I myself have begun to reclaim my lost past thanks to these very experiments. Who is she? Whence has she came? These are questions no scientist could ignore, and the words she muttered <laughs> May your heart be your garden key. You're gonna keep doing that, Xehanort. Yep. Hmm. Experience of the heart. So, no, it's on such an X, except two. Such as memories have not returned, and our conversations remain less than lucid. But fragments can be gleaned if both a begone, a, a begone world, like one out of fairy tales. As improbable as it seems, the question may not be where she has come from, but when. If she truly has crossed through time, the prospect of probing her heart is all the more compelling. My pilot studies, you, uh, my, my, sorry, my pilot studies used a handful of subjects, but none possessed the fortitude to endure them. Ultimately, all suffered mental collapse. I knew it would be a heavy blow to lose a subject as unique as she. <clears throat> Upon discovering the tests I have been conducting. My master demanded that I cease my work immediately and destroy what research I had compiled. Or still, he, re he ordered the release of my remaining subjects. She is gone. Where is Sergeant X now? Has wise Master Ansem hidden her away? Whatever the case, I will not be deterred. I will take her place as the first subject in the grand experiment to come. So basically, that's like Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, it's like... Um... And someone's like, you can't keep doing this, like, shut it down, and then Zane was just like, screw you, I'm gonna do it anyway! <laughs> yeah. Uh, memoirs, except, except one. That castle was a wonderful, what was a wonderland to us children. Within its walls, Anson the Wise conducted his research, and the fruits it bore allowed everyone outside to live in peace and happiness. That alone was enough to uh, stoke our interest. Though not all of the rumours that escaped its walls were so benevolent. By night, the muffled sounds of human wails emerged. There was talk of dangerous human experimentation. Lee and I couldn't help but hatch a plot to steal inside and say our curiosity. Mm, I wonder who this is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty obvious now. Uh, the two who stood guard at the gates were researchers themselves. Though you wouldn't think it to see them. Um, massive and barrel-chested as they were, and slipping past that duo was only the first hurdle. It proved one not easily cleared. We, w we were found and tossed out on our ears time and again. Yeah, like uh, in Birth I Sleep. <laughs> um, on the day we finally secured our entry, we descended the long spiral stair at the heart of the castle to find a dark space below it, lined with cages. There wasn't light enough to see if they were inhabited, and we were in no position to call out to any occupants within. Yet we could feel it, a definite presence, there in the black. Terror washed over us and we immediately regretted coming, but just as we turned to flee, we heard the faintest of voices. The urge to run was nigh, overpowering, but someone or something beckoned us on. There, framed by a tenuous silver sliver of light, we found her. Oh no. And, uh, did yes. It, didn't it be Isa instead of Syax here? Probably? 
Yeah, because it, doesn't it say, like, Lee? Yeah, it says Lee, so this should be Isa, not Syax. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it's a minor thing. I guess and, that just make it easier for us. And yeah, it, it, this is talking about... Remember that one cutscene in Kinmas 2 that just <laughs> has them just, like, walk down that long spiral thing? Um, yeah, it's talking about that area. <laughs> yeah, that long cutscene that's in the go nowhere. Yeah. Memoirs, except two. It was all too dim. Sorry, it was too dim to make out her features. We spoke to her in hus in hushed whispers. Who was she? Why was she imprisoned here? She had no answers for us. Had no memories at all. She was an enigma. But I knew I wanted to help her. And so we continued our infiltration. Most of them stopped short uh, at the castle gates. When we did manage our way inside, we spoke with her. That was all the comfort two children like us could offer. But Lee had other ideas. He was determined to free her. We slipped into the castle that day knowing only that we wanted with all of our hearts to save her. But we did not find her inside on that day or the next or any of our su subsequent visits. Had she been moved? Had we simply imagined her? Lee and I knew there, wa uh, there was only one way to be certain. And so we stand before the castle gates today, not as trespassing children, but in order to become Anton the Wise's newest apprentices. Syx. That is still incorrect, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, well, I guess it... I wasn't like, writing these in present tense. Yeah, I, I guess, like, it depends when these were written, like, that's never particularly clear. Um, on the replica program and reanimation, following my erasure and my recompletion as a human, I did not awaken right away. Perhaps the damage was exceptionally grave. Even after waking, I remained in bed, pondering my next course of action. In my work on the replica program for the organization, I produced some 20 vessels. Most of the early results were failures. Not one of them granted a number. The first access to emerge from that early, what, early lot was the Riku replica. Subsequently, Xion, number I, was essentially indistinguishable from a natural human, though she became unstable due to the influence of others. Using those two as my foundation, I worked to construct a num number of nigh-perfect replicas, but just as they neared completion, my efforts were cut short. I, sub I suspect Xehanort aims to use both the initial lot, as well as the unused replicas from my later work. I rose er, there. I rose today and decided to <laughs> work out to the square. My first outing in some time. Yet my stroll was interrupted when a surprising visitor appeared with an unexpected offer. Though younger than me, he'd risen me. He'd risen me to become Zemnus's right hand. I expected his terms and became a nobody once more. Easier to gain access to the old replica program that way. Whatever it takes to atone, Vexen. Yep. Not much else to say about that. The real organization. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, random question. Don't you yeah. spell organization with an S? I, I, I think. I kind of go back and forth. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, slightly odd topic thing. I was looking back at our Mario Party stuff, and for some reason, um, all the all the text, even because it was from your perspective, but oh, all right. the text was using American spelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We usually like uh, we just get the American spelling in games. They don't usually they huh. don't bother like changing that stuff. Um, I guess I guess since our languages are essentially the same, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> I guess because you get the point. Yeah, although it's kind I of, I, I, like, I guess like since we're on that, uh, just real quick, it does kind of annoy me on like word, like stuff like word sometimes when it like try like it it tells me to like uh, change a word into the American spelling. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. 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 I, man, I need to catch my breath now. See, we have done... Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> the real organization... Okay, I'm good. The real <laughs> organization. Xehanort seeks to gather 12 vessels, which, together, with his true, actual self, he considers the real organization 13. Now that he was... Now that he has the numbers he needs, Demix and I are being treated as reserves. Several others who served Xemnas in the old organization have followed the same course as mine, 
electing to abandon their newly restored humanity and rejoin the real organization as nobodies. But not Xemnas. Xemnas cannot exist in the present because there is already a Xehanort here. The old man in charge. The old man's humanity pre prevents his heartless and nobody of relinquishing the past and his younger self from, from being denizens of this time. To circumvent this, Xehanort is using the prototype replicas that created in the past as containers, plucking his old cell's hearts from the time they existed. Mm, sorry. Xehanort ordered me to refine the prototypes to make them clear, uh, closer still to the real thing, perfecting my creations so they may house true flesh and blood humans suits my own purposes as well. All that remains from my atonement is to devise a way to pass on as many of the vessels as I can to those who truly deserve them. Vexen. Yeah, so, yeah, double agent, basically. Yeah. D yeah, Demix time. <laughs> I wonder if one of these is Demix, probably not. Um, That's hilarious. Anson code conspectus, except one. Um, I have poured over the data my master entrusted to Riku. Here I offer my pre preliminary conclusions. Within Sora's heart are three co compartmentalized boxes, each containing the heart of another. One box holds Roxas, another holds a second heart that has been with Sora nearly as long. The third has held its heart, its heart for much longer. These hearts have melded with Sora's and no longer have voices of their own. Any attempt to mechanically extract them could prove it as dire for Sora as what caused him to become, become a heartless in the first place. First, a vessel for each heart must be readied. Then, a spark of some sort is required to induce its waking. Obviously, the ideal solution is to restore each heart to its own body, but whether the case for the two unknown individuals, Roxas possesses no such thing. The same is true for Namine, who we believe resides in Kairi's heart. Still, if alternate bodies can be secured for them, all their hearts require to be awakened is that spark people they cared for, and who cared for them, who can show them the way home, which is what happened with Roxas, so... Uh, complete, yeah. complete and perfect di digitalization of the heart is impossible. We can only hope to partially recon reconstruct it. Thus, I see no way forward but to extract the hearts we so desperately need directly from within Sora. Fortunately, the data stored in Twilight Town contains a near-perfect record of the memories of those who lived there, and for Roxas and Namine especially, this is crucial. Hi, Enzo. I'm guessing it's because Vexen and Syx were still in the organization that they're using those names. Yeah, probably. Again, it still makes you wonder when these were written. Yeah, right. Um... Anson Code Conspectus, Excerpt 2. As for how to contain their hearts, the only conceivable option is the replicas. If we transfer in the digital memories from the Twilight Town archive, the replicas should be able to, construct, to reconstruct each individual's human appearance with near perfect results. Then, their hearts need only the right spark to wake them, so they may find their way out of Sora and Kairi and into those newly made bodies. The replica program was truly revolutionary, but it was incomplete at the time of the old organization's dissolution. Without Evan, how are we how are we to further the research? We need at least three replicas: one for Roxas, one for Nomine, and one for the own, unknown uh, stowaway within Sora's heart. There are different there are different eh, these are difficult quandri uh, quandaries. But as I work through my master's data, I find myself remembering the taste of ice cream. <laughs> When I was a boy, he would bring me some when we took walks together. There will be time to regret my betrayal later. For now, my focus must be on restoring Roxas and Nominate and proving my master had good intentions, Ianzo. Yep. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's not much else. Like, some of these, speak, like, speak for themselves. Not much else to add. Yeah. Observations, except one. I have seen it through the Keyblade... The Keyblade War unfolded exactly as written on the lost page. Now the key, now the Keyblade the Master entru entrusted to me must be bequeathed to another. Five Union leaders have been chosen from the surviving Dandelions. I will pass the Keyblade to one of them. Uh, wait, what? 
I said, oh boy, we're in Union Cross stuff. Now. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, this is Union Cross. I will pass the Keyblade to one of them and then continue watching the future unfold. Yet it seems that someone has pulled the old switcheroo. One of the five is an imposter, someone the master did not choose. They represent a virus in the program he so carefully wrote. The virus has begun a strange undertaking, a reckless plot to allow the five to escape into another world line. Surely such a thing can't be possible. We're talking about the same trick that allowed the dandelions to transfer to other world lines after the Keyblade War, but these children are no masters. They haven't the means, unless of course a certain lady of magic summoned here from the future knows more than I do. The mm. whole union leader thing was supposed to be by the books. Are these new events just another phase in the master's grand plan? Unknown. By certain lady of magic, it's Maleficent, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is- I'm pretty <laughs> sure this is meant to be Lushu, or Zigbar. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know who else it would be. You're right. Observation, section 2. You went out a world line with no Keyblade in war. Peace is but a dream. In the absence of us and our master, a darkness arrived. Oh boy. One that shall surely lead the world to yet another demise. Great, not darkness again. <laughs> uh... Amid the, amid the chaos, I bequeathed my Keyblade to one of the Union leaders, just as the Master instructed. I watched as the five were sent to another world line, at no small cost, ensuring the line of Keyblade wielders will live on. And now, Keybladeless, I must depart this land to fulfill my final task. This means casting my own body aside and, and sojourning my heart in vessel after vessel, as many as it takes. But I will continue gazing upon each passing era, one unto the next. In time, be it years or decades, centuries or millennia, I will meet the five once more. Somewhere in this crystal, in this so, eh, slash, fuck words. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Sicilian, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know history. how to say that. <laughs> uh, uh, donut history. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I didn't, I didn't know. A chosen one will appear and reenact the Keyblade War. When the scapegoat arrives and takes my Keyblade in hand, that will be the end. It will be the time to take the stage and finish my role. The, lo the lost masters will awaken. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, that's that's definitely Sigbar. <laughs> that's definitely Sigbar. And now, final one. Observations, except free. It seems this body, this name, will be my last. The lives I have lived over the ages could fill volumes, but for now I must focus on what matters most. The Keyblade has been successfully passed down, generation to generations, uh, generation to generation, and it seems a Keyblade master devoted to the darkness may finally arise. Until now, I have watched over the course of events from a distance. Perhaps the time has come to intervene. I need only play the role of a fool desirous of the Keyblade's power. I will don the mask of his ally in order to keep watch over my Keyblade from close by. The Gazing Eye, a Keyblade forged from the eye of the Master of Masters. He passed it to me, as I have to others, and through it he can see the future all that will ever come to pass, spanning the ages in body after body, life after life. My, tasks, my task has been to keep vigil over the eye as it passes from hand to hand, it has been a long time, longer than I can express. But now, at last, the Keyblade War has begun, and Kingdom Hearts will open, a true and complete Kingdom Hearts, born of the clash between darkness and light. I will soon be reunited with my old companions, and in that moment, my long vigil will reach its end. He will return. Unknown. Oh no! <laughs> oh, man, we're totally just setting up now, huh? Yeah, I do... I, I do enjoy this, like, these reports. I, I, especially, like, the ones in this game because it's, um, a bunch of different perspectives and, like, a few, like, different plot points going on. Like, you have, um, Subject X in, like, these earlier ones. Yeah, that's the biggest mystery of these, of these as well. Yeah, and you have, you have that, you have, um, the whole replica program and, like, trying to figure that stuff out. You have... Yeah, the Union Cross stuff going on. Yeah, it's, um... Like, because, like, the other games just had one person writing the reports. 
Whereas, like, this game has a bunch of people doing it, and I feel like... I feel like that's more interesting because you get more things going on, um, and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think if they... If they... They're gonna keep doing these reports, um, but I, I feel like this is the method they keep, they should keep going with it. Because I think there's more you can do with, like, multiple people writing these than just one person. But, so, yeah. right, question. The the girl the girl voice in um, Final World, that's probably, um, uh, that's probably X, right? Um, no, that, that's um, implied to be something else. Um, subject, oh. I, I should say this right now, uh, Subject X is, um, is all but confirmed to be Scold at this point. Um, there's, oh. I, I don't expect it to be anyone else. We could be proven wrong, but like, fi like a, a girl that looks like 15 years old, um, I mean, she basically, uh, uh, has that, um, on her. So that girl, so that voice we've been hearing in Final World could be anybody. Um, I... Well, we for going from uh, melody, melody, melody of memory. Um, I think by that point we sh we basically know who it is, but I'm gonna say that off camera because that's massive spoilers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's basically it from the game now. So you already said. Yeah, we're pretty much the main game. Yeah. Well, yeah, we saved, right? Yeah, we saved. So yeah, next time. Um, yeah, this is just. Random stuff. Gonna go to Remind, and then Limit Cut, and then Secret. So... This is the this Oh wait, Orchestra. Oh yeah, that's just... Yeah. Are we on the show, this? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna actually play it, but... Yeah, th <laughs> this is basically... Um, there's like... Um, a sp I don't know, like a special edition to the DLC or something, where if you pay a little bit more, then you get the Orchestra. So that's cool. Um... Yeah, that's gonna be next time. So, it's all gonna be DLC from her. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, we're getting in, we're getting into some really big stuff here too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that'll be it for now. So, uh, yeah, see you guys uh, in the Remind episode. See you then.